Hello everyone, I am Dharma. So last tutorial we have seen how to download JMeter and install it. So we have installed and successfully able to launch. So this is the view of JMeter. Okay, so by default you can see a test plan. So test plan. Here I am going to create, this is a project name like let it be test plan and right click. Go to add, there you can see so many things. So first of all, you have to set threads. Threads. So these threads, I will let you know later actually in next. Then click on thread group and check with sampler. Okay. So we are going to put a load for the website. So website, if you generally see what is the type for our website request, maybe HTTP. So HTTP request. Okay, so we have created a project thread group and HTTP request. In HTTP request, we have to uh, mention which website you are going to do performance testing. So, for a simple, we can take google.com. Okay, so when you are running, it will ask you to save something like you can say. Google performance so you started running it you ran but you can't see it anywhere so we need to see what happened at backend for that you need to add a listeners so it will listen and it will tell you what happened after run so add a view result tree just save it and run again so I just triggered Google website once request and response data is here so how to do performance okay so I am going to tell you how to apply a load for google.com so here is the thread group so thread group is like here number of thread here you have to mention how many user like you want to launch at a time okay so I'm giving 10 user ramp up period is in one second 10 users should reach the server that is ramp up period if I give 10 10 seconds so each one second one one user will go to the server like uh, will reach the server but I don't want to give that I, I will give just one second loop count is only once so uh, it's like only once all 10 user will go if I mention loop count forever it will continuously run or if I mention three so you will get 30 users uh, in the server actually okay just keep it one and save so the whole report is there so here is like clear clear all and clear current report okay so I will run it again so you can see it here So this is the response the HTML page is showing actually this is the code for HTML so you have uh, put 10 load so we cannot put 1000 or 2000 Google will block our IP if we do that so this is the simple load testing maybe in next tutorial we can see uh, like for adding a, a multiple component or how to record uh, like web UI actions okay if you have any doubt just put in comments if you face any issue with configuration okay guys thank you